do. This is Peter's dad, who is married, has a wife. We're on season two, episode 16, I believe. Blossom is looking a little different. It's not that Blossom's necessarily sort of let herself go, but her style has just kind of become a little bit more casual because she has been so focused on gardening. Time has progressed a little bit. So last time we played, it was the toddler's birthdays. And you'll see that the toddlers are a little bit into their toddlerhood. So they've gotten a little bit older. Ivy, she is a little singer, which I believe was a quirk that she developed last time. She also hates being carried and she's aggressive. Aggressive was a new quirk that I hadn't seen before. This toddler is a little more aggressive than most. Toddlers with this quirk like to roughhouse and are quick to hit, bite, or kick Sims so long as they aren't good friends. They don't even have to be angry. Watch out. I thought that that was kind of an interesting quirk that she developed. And then we have Oak. Oak is the wanderer, which we saw last time. He also has developed a good appetite, so he's always ready to eat and heavy sleeper, so he doesn't really wake up very easily, including he doesn't wake up from nightmares. He's just a very, very good sleeper. Now, the twins have been sort of on their own developing their skills, and I did notice that Oak has gone far in his communication skill, which is very impressive. And Ivy, I mean, she's also very far along in her communication and movement skills, but she also somehow has gone to level three of the thinking skill all on her own. I'm not too sure how she's managed that, but she has. So I thought that that was pretty impressive. And it is winter and you will see over here that we have a bunch of pomegranates that Blossom has planted. Pomegranates are actually very important per the next steps that we have to take for Peter. And she has been regularly coming over here and strengthening Peter's connection to the physical world just to make sure that he does come back. And one thing that she did just a little bit earlier today, she spliced a piece of the pomegranate plant onto an orchid. And so now you can see that this plant, it is going to grow orchids, death flowers, and pomegranates. So if you put a death flower in your inventory and Grimm comes for you, other than for old age, you can give Grimm the death flower and he will not take your Sim's life. Now it's too late for that for Peter, of course, as we know, but the death flower can also be used in other ways to bring a Sim back. So that is what we are going to be working on today. Other than that, all of this was here, but I did add, I think, a few different toys for the toddlers. So a couple of little things have changed. Not too, too much, but yeah, there's like a xylophone here. There's a few extra toys that I don't think were there before. I've got like a jack in the box and this little makeup thing for, for the twins to play with. So they have lots of toys. Blossom, I think, partially has been buying them a lot of toys because, of course, she feels bad being a single parent, being the only parent in the house, and that the twins don't have their father, although Peter's ghost does show up once in a while and does help to take care of them. Blossom, though, she's also very, very distracted. She's very focused on the work she's been doing in her gardening career. And also, of course, was trying to bring Peter back. So she knows that she's not very present in her kids' lives. See, like, Miss Ivy is taking herself to bed right now. Like, they're very good at taking care of themselves, these two. Oak's off to take himself to the potty. So the twins really are able to take care of themselves. I just signed them up for daycare. Maybe they can meet some other kids their age that way because Blossom hasn't had a ton of time to spend with them. She's been, she's been very, very distracted. So she's doing the best she can. But of course, her number one goal for a little while now has been just to get Peter back. So... Blossom, I think she's just tidying up a little bit around the house. Now, she does need to work on her flower arranging skill. As you can see, we're not doing too badly for money. She has been making a few arrangements and selling them on the side on top of her gardening work. And she did get level six in the flower arranging skill quite recently, which did allow her to get a promotion. But now we have to work to try and get to level eight of the flower making skill. So I've been trying to make some of the high skill level floral arrangements because I think that that is the way to grow the skill the best. I'm not 100% sure if that is true or if it's just in my head. 
But um, that is what I believe. So, <laughs> oh, why is he crying? He's crying because he he pottied poorly. He made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. You're still doing a good job. So we're working on our gourmet cooking skill. And I only make one item at a time when I cook as Blossom. That I feel like is the best way to improve the gourmet cooking skill. So there is one more item that we will have to collect once we have our death flower. We actually are going to need to get an angel fish. Now, I don't believe that there are any angel fish in this world in honor of Peter's and Blossom's tradition of taking a bunch of holidays and taking vacations and traveling the world. I think she's going to take the twins away for the holidays. I think that they're going to find somewhere to visit where Blossom could actually fish for an angel fish. In this part today, we're just kind of going to be focusing on getting our death flower, working on our gourmet cooking skill, and kind of getting to know the twins a little bit, getting to know their personalities, because I have been playing a little bit just to get us to winter, because I know that we can't really progress the story without it being wintertime, so I did do that a little bit off camera. But I realized that you all haven't really seen the twins as toddlers, and they have very different personalities, so I'm interested to see what you all think of them. Poor Ivy is stinky for her first day of preschool. Oak's in a pretty good mood. I hope that they have food for them there because they don't really have time to eat. I feel like Ivy wants Blossom to come and get her, but Blossom is not. Blossom is just sleeping. <laughs> oh, poor Ivy. She's so dirty. We don't have time to give her a bath. We'll give you a bath when you come home. Or maybe, maybe they'll give her a bath at preschool. I don't know. They're going to head off on their own and hopefully they gain a few skills while they're there. I'm using a Deep Indigo's Better Schools mod and I don't think I've actually used the preschool with this one. I used to use the Kawhi Stacy preschool mod. Oh, she doesn't look happy at all. She's like, this is not good. This is not a good situation. I need to get out of this family. This is the last time I allow myself to be neglected to this degree. Ivy knows, like Ivy knows that she's not getting the care that she deserves here. I did give Blossom a little bit of a haircut. Her hair is definitely shorter, more so because I think it's just she needs it a little bit more out of the way. She's she's not really styling it like she used to. She just kind of wants it out of the way. It's tied up a lot. She has a lot more like where she's just tied her hair back. You'll notice she's wearing like more jeans and sweatpants and stuff like that and no longer all of the cute dresses and stuff that she was wearing before. So, you know, because it's she's got two babies and she doesn't have time and she doesn't have the motivation either I don't think to really like try and get herself all done up for the day she's not even I don't know if you'll notice but I took off a lot of her jewelry she's still got her ring on from when Peter asked her to marry him but other than that like she doesn't have her necklaces and stuff that she used to like to wear or anything look at that she's doing the laundry on her own my sims never do the laundry on their own I just realized that I can actually put our couch back because our father-in-law is gone. There we go. So we can have a couch there to watch the TV. Honestly, like the twins are probably the cutest toddlers I've ever seen. I feel like I say that about every toddler, but truly like look at this face. How cute is Oak and how cute is Ivy? I really truly believe that they are the cutest toddlers I've ever seen. Hey, we're supposed to be giving Ivy a bath. <laughs> Blossom, I mean, I know everyone loves Oak, of course. Oak wants hugs. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I know he wants hugs, but like we do need to give Ivy a bath. She's like really, really stinky. Oak's taking all of Blossom's attention. I have noticed that Blossom does tend to sort of go straight for Oak. I believe maybe it's because Ivy is sus of authority due to her having had a poor infant life stage. And also she's aggressive too. So I don't think that she's aggressive towards Blossom. She's more aggressive towards Sims that she doesn't know very well. But she was quite aggressive towards her grandfather. She was always kicking and biting him. Poor Ivy is just continuing to have to take charge of her own care. But no, I think Blossom's doing her best to try and split time between the two of them. They were very cute infants too, but I don't know. Something about their little faces as toddlers and their little teeth. I don't know. I just find them so cute. <laughs> Look at him playing with his horsey. I gave the twins quite a few outfits, so you will be able to see all of their cute little looks. Oh! <laughs> Wait a second. This is our 
father-in-law, mind you, who is married and Peter's dad, this is Peter's dad who is married, has a wife. This is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but okay, here it is. I have a crush on you. Okay, it's out there. Um, So would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I really want to hang out with you more. You are our kid's grandfather. No. <laughs> Let's just be friends. Okay, sure. No worry. Let's just pretend that this never happened. I think that's a good idea. Let's definitely pretend this never happened. I don't know. Was he like on something? She still has Oliver as her spouse. So I don't know what Oliver's thinking. He did stay with us when the twins were infants to help us take care of them. I don't know. Maybe he got a little too close to us in that time. Let's just block that out. It never happened. <laughs> that is not canon. Let's get some of that rack of lamb out for the twins. They can just help themselves. At least they're getting some pretty good food. There's Peter wandering around in his, in his ski suit. <laughs> Oh, he gave his dad a hug. This will be nice because they actually will have a relationship with their dad when we bring him back to life. They went to bed really late, but I, did, I didn't want to give Oak the chance to hug his dad because the ghost only comes out at nighttime. We have so many pomegranates. We should probably actually go and sell those because that will give us all of the money that we need, I think, if we sell our pomegranates especially if we are able to do it at a markup. Oh my gosh, we have like, uh, we have 121 pomegranates. <laughs> Let's go sell those. Um, is there anything else we can sell maybe that we have a lot of? We have a lot of onions, but I think we'll keep those. Let's go to the bathroom quickly and then we're going to go sell while the twins are still at their preschool. All right, so we've gotten our extra profit. So let's go here and sell our pomegranates. I think we'll make a nice fortune. And actually, okay, so what I've learned too is these packets, because we don't really need the seeds in them, you actually make more money by selling them at the garden stall than you do by like opening them and then, you know, hoping that it's a, a fruit that you don't already have or a vegetable that you don't already had. It's much more worth it to sell the seed packets. You can make way more money. And then you just come and you purchase the fruits or vegetables that you don't have and that you want to plant in your garden or you order them through the grocery. And that's a much better way to make sure you're getting the fruits and veggies that you don't actually already have in your garden. Oh, we can only sell 99 pomegranates at a time. Look, we're making almost $8,000 from that. But yeah, I think we're probably going to play until tomorrow because I'm really hoping we can get that death flower tomorrow. Maybe I can grow another orchid and maybe I'll actually bring it inside and then I can try and get a death flower that way as well. I was keeping one of the gardening pots empty so that we could plant a death flower itself and then we could grow a bunch of death flowers. But ooh, we have to pay our bills. Okay, we have lots of money, so that's not an issue. We have two orchids. Okay. I'm going to get an extra couple of garden planters and I'm going to bring them inside. And I think we're going to try and grow two more orchids and we're going to try and splice them so that we can have two more death flowers. So the question is, where do we put them? Because our cottage is like very, very tiny. So let's grab those two orchids and let's plant them. And maybe we can get another couple of potential death flowers. I should have done this before. I didn't really think of it. And then we'll water and we'll fertilize as well. Let's come and take a cutting from what's our highest level pomegranate tree. We're not quite a magnificent on any of them, I don't think. Let's take a cutting from this one just so we're ready <laughs> once our plant grows. And let's take a cutting from this one as well. There we go. Ivy is back. Can Ivy talk to the bunnies? Oh my gosh, she can. Why are we angry? Hard lessons from day at preschool. Today's lesson was so hard. Oak hates preschool. Aw, poor guy. <laughs> I'm sure that you did a good job, Mr. Oak. Look, he's so cute. He's so mad he's wrecking. Oh, she feels happy from making a rabbit smile from telling a joke to a rabbit. That joke was pretty funny. Ivy assumes the twitch of the rabbit's nose is what counts for a smile amongst rabbits. Actual smiles would be kind of scary with those long rabbit teeth. Chat with a rabbit from talking to a rabbit. Rabbits are such good listeners. They have two large ears. The better to hear Ivy with. They don't say much though. A picnic to remember from feeling close with someone nearby. Ivy remembers the joys of going on a picnic together. We haven't gone on any picnics, but if you say so, Ivy, <laughs> I'm not going to deny your reality. <laughs> 
Good one. Blossom can't stop laughing. That joke Oak told her was way too good. After being dazzled by that marvelous bit of humor, Blossom is thinking about jokes and how great they can be for a conversation. Is this a moment of realization that Blossom likes jokes? Yeah, I feel like Blossom could use a little humor in her life. She's been working so, so hard that like she hasn't really had time to laugh or joke around. And now that her twins have grown up and they can kind of like talk and everything, I think she's like, oh, this is actually quite nice, like socializing and having company and stuff. I think she's like forgotten all of that because of how busy she's been. I don't know why she just put him outside. <laughs> let's go quickly to the bathroom and then let's also make a flower arranging. Again, I would love to see our flower arranging skill go up as quickly as our gourmet cooking skill. The twins are just playing. That's good. He's playing on the telephone. He loves this telephone. He's always coming in here to play on it. He's like, hello, anyone there? Can I order some McDonald's, please? I think that's the wrong number. McDonald's is not answering. All right, Miss Ivy, look at you all grown up. with. Look at her little hat. She's like a little queen with her little hat. Aw, you're so cute. He's like, yep, I can just go to the bathroom on my own because it's what I always do. Just make sure my needs are met and I take care of myself. I wonder if these will bloom tomorrow. I think that they might, which would be perfect because we might be able to get our death flower before we leave on winter's eve. What do we do on winter's eve? Decorate, go on vacation. Okay, yeah. So we're going to leave on winter's eve to go on vacation and then open presents, grand meal, father winter, festive sphere, attend holiday ceremony, and then it'll be New Year's Eve. So yeah, we're going to go for these three days, I think. And then we'll come back on our big spring cleanup, which is what we kind of always do, I think. Oh, look, <laughs> they're pottying together. Toddlers that potty together stay together. We should maybe try and build up our relationship with our chickens a little bit because then I think they will give us better quality eggs. And I'm just going to get some food out for the twins because they're getting hungry. There, they can have more of this lamb. Come grab your food. Grab yourself something to eat before you go to bed. Don't want you to go to bed hungry. Blossom's making all this delicious food, so you may as well enjoy it. She's making it and not eating it. She's just trying to get her gourmet cooking skill up. I'm going to make something else. I think there's like tiramisu or something we can maybe make like just like their last day of preschool before the holidays. And we maxed gourmet cooking. Good job, Blossom. That is amazing. I can't believe you did that so quickly. The meal that we have to make is this one, Ambrosia. So we need a death flower, we need a potion of youth, and we need an angel fish. The potion of youth we actually get with our aspiration points. I just realized I spent a bunch of her aspiration points. We did max the freelance botanist. So let's actually select a new aspiration for her. Let's do angling ace because our goal right now is to catch an angel fish. But yeah, she did max the freelance botanist aspiration last time. I didn't realize that when Peter planted the cow plant, it actually counted as blossom too. So she did end up ticking that one off and then she got level 10 gardening when I was playing off camera. So, but yeah, so we're going to do that and that will be a good way for us to get our aspiration up. And then she wants to listen to some different kinds of music. So let me just check how much the potion of youth is. I think the potions are a little bit less expensive. 1500. So yeah, we need to get another thousand points, which I think we can actually do. I don't think it's too, too hard to get those. Let's get a stereo or something so we can listen to some music. Let's put it down here, like by Peter's side of the bed, like maybe it was his or something. And maybe that's why she wants to listen. She wants to like listen to all his old favorite music. Oh! <gasps> Oh, we just sold another flower. Nice. Okay, let's go send that off. This is great. Ship on Plopsy. Perfect. We're making lots of money. We're going to be doing very well financially. So let's send that off. And then let's come over here and listen to our focus music. Perfect. And then we're going to turn that off and we're going to head to sleep. There we go. And then hopefully in the morning we will have a death flower. But if not, we're going to have hopefully our orchid plants will be fully matured and we can splice onto them so that we will potentially get two more shots at a death flower before we leave for our vacation. And I do think because we have this extra money, what's down there? There's a little cottage down there. I don't remember ever seeing that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, there's a bunch of little cottages in the distance. That's adorable. I wonder if I can make our cottage look like that one actually. Those are like stone cottages. We've got kind of like this like thatched roof cottage, kind of more like that one. But maybe I should 
maybe I should try and design it. Whoa, what was that? Is that lightning? Maybe I should try and design it to look like that one over there. What do we think? I could do that probably before the next episode. I'll expand our cottage a little bit. We made it cute and small, but we can have like a really nice big cottage maybe next time. And now we can actually just get leftovers out of it. We don't need to keep cooking every single meal that we eat. Ooh, and it's the lottery. I mean, we may as well purchase a lottery ticket. Why not? There we go. What a nice, quiet, cozy morning. Yes, the twins are heading off to preschool, but they're going to have some tiramisu when they come home as a treat. We're going to have some food. Maybe we'll make a little bit of coffee too. I feel like we could use a little bit of coffee. There we go. The twins are off. They're just taking themselves to preschool like the cute, adorable, good little kids that they are. <laughs> Independent little kids that they are because we're not raising them. That's for sure. No. Blossom is. She's. I think she, now that they're toddlers, she's, she's like, focusing on them a little bit more. She was a little distracted as an infant. And, you know, she was mourning too and everything. It's tough, you know? It's tough being a single mom. Why don't we tag Peter in a flirty message? The heart wants what the heart wants, and this heart wants Peter. Oh, Blossom still wants Peter, even though he's, you know, a ghost and he's not around. She just still thinks about him all the time. But yeah, now that the twins are older, Blossom has her focus and she has her plan to try and get Peter back. I think that she's just a little bit more present for the twins. I do think that she's gone better at that. Let's wash the laundry. There we go. And then let's come check on the state of things outside. Oh, there's some garbage. Somebody, who knocked over our trash bin? Who came all the way out here to kick over our trash bin? That is a lot of work to tell us that you're mad. All right, let's come over here and see. <gasps> what? Why did this one go down too? This one was fully blossoming. What? That's so rude. I know it's cheating, but honestly, whoa. Okay, I didn't mean to get this many death flowers, but I do think that like it should have sprouted. I don't know what happened, but this always happens. Like there's a gardening bug where the plants just like disappear. They just die. And I don't think that that is fair. So I'm going to regrow all of these pomegranate trees and we are harvesting a bunch of death flowers. So we have 10. <laughs> Maybe that's a little more than we need. But um, we are kind of in a good position now to go on holiday because we have two out of the three are level 10 gardening and we have grown our death flower, which I feel a little bit bad about, but let's just ignore it for now. And so... We are well on track to be bringing Peter back very, very soon. All we need to do now is to just get up some of our aspiration points. We also need to catch an angelfish. The angelfish will maybe be a little bit trickier, but I'm pretty confident once we start fishing, we're going to just fly through these, I believe. But I do think that's actually where I'm going to end the part for today. We got a lot done this episode. It was more of a hustle episode. But next week, it should be a little bit more exciting. I might just play through this day and then we'll pick up on Winter's Eve where we will actually be taking the kids on vacation, going somewhere special for the holidays and focusing on our final ingredient that we need, which will be the angelfish. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we get that angelfish next week. And so, yeah, we'll end this part here. If you're on YouTube, please like the episode if you're enjoying the series. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And I will see you next time. It's like acting like we were fiction in a book. Cause it's the way it goes. And I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right.